Welcome to Argentina, and this is not the first time a German fled to Argentina. Just I'm fleeing because I'm sick of terrible mods and just want to play some normal vanilla. The other Germans fled due to certain policy errors from 1939 to 1945, which came back to bite the ass. With that in mind, we're immediately gonna go down the right wing path. It's all coming together. I appreciate the optimism of the game of starting with a factory or interwar small airframe, but I think we need guns more than some 1914 planes. Are we gonna work with a fascist or gonna go down the other path. The issue is I don't speak of Spanish and I don't want to click on the event to find out what it is. So we're just gonna go down with a good old English. Uh, ironic because the next thing is cutting ties with things. Ah, it doesn't matter. Why is the leader of Uruguay already watching at me like I'm about to invade him? Somehow cutting ties with the British gives us minus 20% consumer good factories factor. What the hell is that? It seems a bit too overpowered. I guess we don't like the English anymore. Becomes the biggest economy in the world. Actually, yeah, that's over US turned out. Maybe I'm going down the correct path. Oh, yeah, uh, about that invasion of Uruguay? Yeah, it's gonna happen. Wait a second. Will America intervene with that? Yo, FDR, you chill with this? Ah, we also have a financial expert who gives minus 15% cuts. How is Argentina so overpowered here? <laughs> Uruguayan army? It's not on the border. Are you defending your border with Brazil? I don't think they're your enemy right now. The US said they don't care. Those World War One plans really not helping. They can't even reach Uruguay. Despite that, not really that difficult to beat Uruguay. We can also get another minus 5% consumer good factories right here. Eventually, we just get factories because we have factories. And we can go down the path of taking on international loans. Historically known to go very well for Argentina. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Found another minus 15%. By simply having cows. And another 10%. <laughs> What this is? Did goddamn Malay work on the South America DLC? Also, we decided this whole democracy thing kind of bad. If total manpower modified due to 10%. <laughs> it is coming for this man, but it's not getting displayed and that's kind of great. I love having a front line that's like 10,000 kilometers long here. Luckily, if I don't have units, I have units. This is gonna be a pretty easy war eventually. You can buy equipment from America all you want. It won't help you. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, yeah, but <laughs> the country leader understood it and fled, we have a new one. Kinda just want them for the steel, you know? I don't really have anything except oil. Now, we can either go for Germans or we can just say, screw them, we wanna do our own thing. Eventually, we will get the Germans to move here, so we're just gonna do our own stuff. Now, welcome to the part of the game where we curve stomp everyone. First, Paraguay. I love a supply over here in the jungle, it's so great. Yeah, let's just take over South America as fast as possible so we can leave South America. Oh yeah, that thing is also going on. <laughs> a bit early there, Germany. <laughs> oh, and Chile didn't want to become my puppet. Uh, I'm still fighting Paraguay because they're kind of in the jungle and I can't break free yet. Oh, I can still do that. You're not in the middle of a jungle, so I have supply here. And after making the AI leave half their units in encircled pockets because it's still stupid, I actually can win this war. Is that finally enough? Oh, god damn it. Ugh. That should be enough. Are you kidding me? That was a city! How did it not move 1%? We're on 99%. I just took this town. Does that mean we're gonna be on 100? No, no! How can it be? They control 0%! We'll compete like when it has 0% or less. It says right there! Oh, 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 oh it's over. Oh, it's, it's, my suffering is over. This was the most difficult war. Oh, 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 oh. oh, and shortly after that, this one is over. And this one only took so long because I couldn't micro. Time to kindly ask for the Falklands back. You know, we kind of need them. I actually know that means we have to go to war of Britain. Let's first take over Brazil. That is gonna be easier than Paraguay, surprisingly. And the allies are still not trying to stop me. I'm kind of surprised. Well, time to encircle half our army. Oh, and we can slowly integrate all the states. That costs uh, a lot of political power, though. Wait, do we have to do that for each individual state? Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. I have to do the entire thing for Brazil as well. Oh my god, I wanna cry. We're not doing any national focus for some time. I need political power. Integrating these 36,000 people right here costs the same as integrating Sao Paulo, which has a population of 6.6 .6 million. You see, the two units that managed to get into the jungle are not having a great time. <laughs> Just keeps on going. Wait, war in South America, my man, you're gonna ignore all of this, but talk about this? Also, wait a second, when did you take the Amazon? I love warfare in the jungle. It is so fantastic. 
Wait a second, there's a supply hub, but it's not connected with anything. What? Now they actually have supply and they're winning. Could we do something very funny by just landing there and cutting them off from supply? I doubt they're garrisoning their ports. Oh, apparently at a front line to the north. Whoopsie, that's behind my front line. All right, let's send some units there so I don't get cut off. I stand corrected, they're protecting their coastline. But you know what we learn? If it doesn't work the first time, just do it again and move one tile so their supply still gets cut off. But while they're trying to kill the little units who landed over there, they took a lot of units away from here. And these units have been trying to ram into the line for 50 years, so they are kind of under-equipped at this point. Don't worry, boys, we can see you from here. You did a worthy sacrifice. How's Europe doing? Oh my god, Romania, you're popping. <laughs> Let's already go towards killing the UK. I want those Falklands back, baby. We went from force attacking into jungle tiles to force attacking in the goddamn mountains. A fun fact, the units that crossed into the jungle have been starving the entire game here. <laughs> More stuff to integrate. Despite us not even having integrated half a stuff over here, we're never gonna finish this, aren't we? Probably people would now go after Bolivia, etc. I'm just gonna go after UK. Quick before the UK Navy arrives. Let's ask the UK pretty please to give us the stuff. Let's go! <laughs> Ah, fantastic. Uh, that makes no sense. <laughs> that makes no sense. What the hell? This is so dumb. No one basically stopped me. And once I'm at war with them and took two islands, they're like, oh yeah, sure, let's just do that. And the Soviets are still getting curve stormed, yeah. I have 123 factories. I have not been focusing on industry at all. Ah, I wanted to join the Axis. All I wanted was military Axis. I guess we're gonna improve our relations. How are my units moving into the UK territory? Uh... Something that is not gonna work, buddy. No, I just found another minus 15%. Sadly, it's only for a year. Germany doesn't want to give me military access. Good, I'm going to declare one of the Soviets. Why not? Hey, now they're willing to give me military access. Thank you very much. I have also moved from mighty Argentinian Navy to Europe. Uh, mighty is an overstatement. This is just whatever we scrap together in all of South America. But I have a plan. Reverse D-Day. Well, once the truce is over. And once the units are ready. I'm still integrating everything, by the way. I've come a long way, but yeah, I'm not gonna finish this before I end this game. <laughs> okay, the chance that this succeeds is kinda low, but let's try it. Actually, this is probably gonna work. We're gonna port. <laughs> the Germans do not want military access, so they can't go into there. Oh my god. How's my navy doing, by the way? Oh, it's still surprisingly alive. Oh, never mind. There's coming the British navy. Yep, no, never mind. This thing is not alive anymore. But hey, it served its purpose. We're in England, baby. Oh yeah, is our front in South America holding, by the way? Yeah, it is. We're not pushing through that. In fact, we can push them back if I would micro there, but I can't be bothered. And just because it worked so well, we're getting our World War One planes over here that we produced in the beginning. Ah... Why did they get fed? Why did you get Scotland? This was all me. You didn't help one bit. Alright, uh, yeah, of all, what is my opinion about this DLC? I think Argentina is completely overpowered. I didn't really focus much on industry, but you can get so much industry pumped out just because your required consumer goods could be so low. I could have gotten even more if I would have played my cards correctly and went on full economy. And also that no one really stops you, like at least after Brazil. They should have said no, 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 but no. And they even let you take the Falklands for free, basically. I had to pay more for my Hearts of Iron 4 subscription because this DLC was released. So, I do not like it. it, it Argentina is stupid and broke in this game. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.